swarm season is here and we're starting to catch some swarms in our swarm traps. Today I wanted to make a video and show how we transfer a swarm from a swarm trap into a bee box and some tips to help them get established in that new box. So I have the swarm trap down and I just use a paper towel to stuff into the entrance so the bees can't get out. And now what I like to do is I like to bring this trap to a new location um, pretty far away from where the swarm landed and that way um, you don't have any bees going back to that original location. And so I'm going to take these bees to one of my other bee yards and transfer them into a nucleus box. I'm here at the bee yard I'm gonna hive this swarm at and I got a few things. I got an empty nuke box here. I got a queen cage with a candy plug here. And I just got a um, frame of nectar from one of the other hives and I'm gonna shake those bees off. I find one of the challenges with hiving a swarm is they tend to wanna fly off and find their own place. And so if I cage the queen for a day or two and give them some resource um, just nectar I don't use brood when I'm hiving swarms they seem to have an investment in the new box and they tend to stick around better than just putting them on foundation I'm getting ready to open up this swarm trap and find the queen that's the most important part and I'm at a bee yard here I just went into one of these big colonies to get a frame of nectar to give to this swarm and um, as you can see the bees aren't real happy about me taking their nectar. I got a bunch of bees on my face from this big colony right there behind me. But we're gonna open up this swarm trap and try to find this queen and get them transferred into a nuke box. There they are. Nice little swarm of bees. They have started making some comb. So I'm going to grab my queen clip here, start going through here and looking for the queen. And as soon as I catch her, I'm going to transfer her into this queen cage here with a candy plug and that will keep her in the new box at least for a day or two. And by that time, these bees will start to build comb in that box. They'll start to fill the drawn comb that I'm giving them with nectar and they'll have an investment and a reason to stay put. Well, it didn't take too long to find the queen. She's hiding in that pile of bees. We're going to get her in the queen clip. There she is. And get her caged up. So I've got the queen here in this queen cage. Got a little candy plug there so that she can't get out right away. And so we're going to put her inside of this nuke box. right here by this frame of drawn comb with nectar in it like so and then we're gonna take these bees in the swarm trap and we're gonna shake them out into this new box here we have the swarm of bees take this Put them in there with their queen. Couple bumps. They're gonna smell their queen and take to their new home. Get a little smoke and put it on them. Get them going down. You got the queen right there, so they're not gonna wanna leave her. Put our lid on carefully. There's the entrance of our hive. The bees are gonna get reorientated. They know their queen's in there. They're not gonna leave her. And she'll be in there for at least a day or two with that um, queen cage and the candy plug before they chew through that candy plug and release her. And so that will give them enough time to get established in their new home. And that's how I like to 
hive a swarm of bees out of a swarm trap. It's been a busy day today. Started the day delivering honey to three new stores that just started selling our honey, so that was pretty cool. And then um, spent the rest of the day in the bees. We, man, what did we do today? We made probably about six splits with um, colonies that were getting ready to swarm that had swarm cells. We um, got a swarm out of a swarm trap and hived it, which you guys saw today. Checked one, two, four bee yards today. And it's about five o'clock and now I'm going, I got a bee removal call. So I'm going to take a look and give it an estimate. And so um, springtime is a pretty awesome time to be a beekeeper. It's definitely not boring, not sitting around waiting for something to do. There's a lot of work and we're going out there and we're getting it.